Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with some LEGO bracelets to review. These bracelets can be found on ETSY by Bear Bracelets. As you can see on their store here, they have a large variety of different LEGO bracelets. And here I have a couple of different samples of the bracelets that they make. Now I'm going to do a mini review of each bracelet. Attached to most of the bracelets is this Bear Bracelets tag. As you can see, it's a little picture of a hand with some bracelets on and it's got the Bear Bracelet written on it and it's a stamp. The first bracelet I'm going to show you is my personal favorite one. As you can see, this bracelet is made up of 2x4 blue bricks as well as these little blue beads. There are a total of 8 2 by 2 bricks here on this thing as well as a bunch of little beads. But I mean, you're here for the Lego, not the beads. It's neat as well because it is stretchy material and as you can see, the, the string is blue. And it's also really neat because the string runs through the bricks which I think is really, really cool. This bracelet fits on my wrist very easily, and I can just do it, you know, with one hand. And there we have it. You just straighten it up. It stretches, so it's perfect, so it can go, if I had a lot bigger wrist, it could be a lot bigger of a bracelet. And I will admit right now that I'm not very much of a jewelry person. I just really wanted to get these bracelets to review, to show the jewelry people that are watching this video. The next bracelet I'm gonna show you is this Trans Clear bracelet. This bracelet is made up of a bunch of 1x2 trans clear bricks as well as these plates, actually they're not bricks, as well as these little trans clear beads. As you can see, like the last bracelet, the string goes right through the plate, making it all stretchy. As well as, if you haven't noticed already, the string is white, which just adds a really nice look to the bracelet overall. This next bracelet is this silver and black plated one, and this is my mom's personal favorite. This bracelet is made up of 2x2 two two black plates, as well as these silver beads. The string used in this bracelet is another dark, it's, it's kind of gray, it's kind of black, it's stretchy, but uh, you don't really see this because there's no transparent part, and it blends right into the plates. The string used in this bracelet is like a gray and a black kind of mixed together. It's a mix between the two, but it doesn't really matter what color it is because you don't see it at all and it completely blends into the bracelet. This next bracelet is this pink and baby green one. This bracelet must be a child size because there's no way that it's going to fit on my wrist. I mean, look at it. My wrist is huge compared to this bracelet, but I imagine this bracelet would be good for like a little baby or something like that. This bracelet is very similar to the transparent bracelet that I already showed you. The only difference here is the colors. Instead of transparent, this bracelet uses 1x2 pink, light pink bricks, as well as the, this bead, bead variety, and they're like a mix between a green and a pink, which just what overall gives this bracelet a nice look just because it's half pink, half green, and it's very neat looking. This next bracelet was one that my sister absolutely loved. This one is lime green and pink. And it uses the exact same material, it looks the exact same as this black and silver one, but it's just more funky because of the colors. My sister really loved the 2x2 two two lime green plate with the solid like hot pink beads. That was her favorite part. And of course the string is like another hot pink, so it just ties the bracelet in together, making this her absolute favorite bracelet. As you can see, this bracelet is unlike any of the others that I've showed so far. This is made up of regular green 2x2 two two bricks. It is similar to the blue one, except it's just the 2x4 bricks that make it similar. The thing that really makes it different is the fact that it uses a total of 5 beads in between each brick. It uses 4 smaller beads, 1 per, per each string, and then it uses this wooden bead with like a little sticker on it. And as you can see, there's a variety of different stickers on each bead that go in a pattern. The beads are made like of a nice golden brown, and then the wood is just a normal brown. And the string for the whole thing is like another blacky gray kind of thing, but it looks very good with the brown. The string that's used in this bracelet is like a blacky gray brown sort of thing. I don't know what color it really is, but it looks really cool with the beads. But you don't really notice it, but when you do pull it apart, it looks pretty natural. And finally, the very last bracelet that I have to show you is certainly the most unique of them all. Like these blue and green bracelets, the pink bracelet here is made up of 2x2 two two bricks. But a difference is them, they're on a slant. As you can see, the string goes in a, di a diagonal and comes out a diagonal, not straight through like these ones, which makes it look really cool. On each side here, they have a total of 
six beads, three on each top. And what's really cool is down in here, they actually had to remove the middle tube just to get the string in, which I think is really neat and interesting. You may be wondering, why does this bracelet look kind of familiar to something I've seen? Well, I think it looks so familiar to you is because it's got this little breast cancer logo or like the, the ribbon here, which makes this a breast cancer bracelet, which is very nice and it's great to wear in the breast cancer month. Between the slanted bricks and the breast cancer logo, this is certainly the most unique bracelet that I've reviewed in this video yet. Another neat thing about these, the fact that they're all Lego except some of the beads on each one, you can customize them. By customizing them, I mean you can place, you know, tiles on them, or some eyeballs, or some flowers. You can really make them whatever you want. You can add any Lego piece with a stud hole, and you can completely customize it. You could add some more of these, you know, colorful flowers in the center of each one if you chose. You could do like a pattern change the colors up. There's like really endless possibilities because they're Lego bracelets and you can add Lego parts to them to make them your own or you could just keep them, you know, factory made. Not factory made, but handmade or you can customize them to make them your own, which is kind of cool. Thanks so much for watching this review of these Lego bracelets. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this, these bracelets can be purchased from Bear Bracelets. And I've reviewed a variety of different bracelets, and here they are all on their website, and they all have a variety of prices. So if you saw one in this video that interested you, head on over to ETSY Bear Bracelets and choose the style that you like the best, choose the color, and choose the size. I will be putting the link to the shop in the comments as well as in the description. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more Brick Lover 18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this Brick Lover 18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe brick.